Hi, Charles Moment here. Well, it's a Saturday before Thanksgiving, and I thought I'd just give you another short little update. Thanks for watching. Well, yesterday I was kind of one and a half steps forward and maybe three quarters of a step back. Here's what happened, and I'm glad I caught it, so it's one of those good mistake kind of things. Two things. One is, um, I'll show you some video of it, a picture. The ceiling, I'd only put in a half inch of um, the foam because I thought that the thicker was going to, after I put the bracing, it would rub against the shiplap. And I just wasn't thinking and paying attention. So I got it all done, then realized it was a, still a big gap up there. So I, yesterday, I went ahead and redid the ceiling again, a second layer and um, of half inch. So it looks great. All the wires are coming through. So apparently up there, these uh, pins, these insulation pins, held really well. Wasn't, I found out it wasn't the case on the sides. On the sides, um, uh, while I was working on putting these, uh, this side bracing, still don't have any verticals, that's going to happen today, um, I noticed something. I was pushing on this and go, what is all that squeaking? And you'll notice it's got a little give. There's still a little space back there. And uh, I put a second layer yesterday and ran this board, which is, an would not, is not attached there yet. And I was pushing over there and it was like squeak, squeak, it was squeaking horribly. And I went over here on the other side by this window, and it was even worse. I did not hear it driving. We've driven it lately to pick up stuff. And so what I found out <laughs> briefly is that all of these hanger pins that hold that the insulation was shoved in, especially over there, they'd all come loose. And they were not pressed onto metal. If they were on metal, I would have been fine. They, if I had just put it on kill mat, but I put it on the Noiko sound deadening um, foam Red, red, they call it red noico, and it's the foam's on the outside, and so uh, I put um, a foil square on it and pushed these on, but it still ended up pulling loose. And um, I mean, it was crazy loose when I peeled off the tape, the foil tape around that the uh, insulation over there, the poly iso. It this one section to the left window virtually fell out, just basically fell out. So I ended up yanking it all out. I wasn't angry, yanked it all out. And, um, and actually, it's going to help my wife because it was uh, it's going to impede her when she was going to make the shelving, uh, the framing around the window that sort of makes a shelf um, on the ledge. And so I went back and uh, I've saved her some videos we're going to look at this afternoon. And I've got two or three that I think uh, are going to be a good basis upon which to do this. And um, the insulation would be in the way anyway. And so it looks like everyone waited and did the insulation after they framed it. So um, what I, as a result, uh, I'm going to take the insulation off around this other window and uh, on this window I actually fixed it. It, it it seems to have stayed they've stayed better uh, maybe I was more manly that day and shoved them on tighter uh, here's a second layer on top of this one and I've got a little gap there I might put some this cavity gets narrower as it goes down so it's just one of those quirky things with all bands but I redid it and uh, taped it and then I actually took some mineral wool and squeezed it in around the edges and then taped and everything got quiet. So I think I think I can leave this if I want to, and I probably will. Um, and then real quickly, I'm going to talk about the plus nuts. Plus nuts are great. I went crazy. I overdid it in some places, but I've got all these everywhere. They are rock solid. But I had those hanger bolts, and those hanger bolts, uh, you remember from a previous video, they screw into the plus nut quarter twenty with the point, and you. The theory is, and I watch people do it. A couple of people, they put them in, they hold a piece of wood, bang it. And it leaves an indentation, you know where to drill, boom, you're golden. I just didn't seem to work out for me. Um, even when Susie helped me, we hit it, it seemed to, it would bounce, and it was in, in close, but not quite. So I ended up just doing this. I w you can see these lines here. I just took a Sharpie, made lines, put lines across. And of course, these all are pretty much in the same place, and then it goes down, and that one goes up. Nothing's the same. So you could say, why don't you just measure, Charles? Well, yeah, here's what I did. I just put these lines, I held up the wood, and I would go, okay, it's about right there. And I would just take a drill with a thin drill bit, drill through, and ha even without looking, I would just kind of guess it. I was drilling right into the middle of the plus nut. And then I would know, i take out the quarter uh, bit and drill the whole countersink, put it in. And I would usually do the two ends, and then I knew where things basically were. I could still peek because I, I, I wouldn't tighten them all the way up. Guess, put them in. And sometimes that'd be off a little, but then you could see where it's going to be. Then I could ream it out a little bit. Worked fine. So all these, that's how I ended up not using the hanger bolts. Um, though I suppose they can work for some people. So if you use these pins, they should be on metal, I think, is the best way. Um, and um, however you can get those plus nuts in, fine. 
and um, we'll be using them and I will use some uh, self-tapping, self-drilling screws on the verticals, but um, uh, we're, we're getting there and uh, hope you all have a nice Thanksgiving and thanks for watching.